Oh, oh boy. How's it going, everybody? Uh, it's been a long time. So, yeah, let's uh, catch up, shall we? This thing runs and drives again. Um, no, it's not supercharged, but we're we're working on it. Uh, we're definitely working on it. Um, I'll kind of explain everything that's going on here um, in a minute. But I guess while we're in the garage, um, I've obtained some more nonsense. Um, obviously, you've already seen that mini bike over there. It's a, it's a miracle that my neighbors don't fucking hate me. I've obtained another one. Um, this was uh, Ethan's mini bike that he no longer wanted. So I bought it off him. And that one is now my girlfriend's. Also, shout out to her for this awesome mechanic suit. I fucking love it. Um, I also picked up this thing. Um, this is... and. Uh, there's just shit everywhere, and it's just a pain in the ass to exist in this garage sometimes. But anyways, uh, this is a 2012 Triumph um, Street Triple R six or sorry, Street Triple six seventy five R. I mean, same thing, but whatever. Um, I got it at the same dealership that I got my CDR at, my CDR five hundred, and I traded it in for this because I've been just wanting something faster, and you know. There you go. This is considerably faster than uh, the Honda is. Um, but yeah, this thing is freaking sweet. It's got very low miles. Um, so little miles that it hasn't even needed its first oil change yet, which is pretty sweet. This thing is like as stock as it can be. Um, I don't think there's a single aftermarket part on this bike, which is good. I'm happy that it is stock. I get to make it my own from the beginning. Don't mind my bloody hand. Um, but yeah, it's it's a cool bike. It's a lot of fun. And I'll have to do like an in-depth review or whatever on it later. And I'm going to be replacing these very 90s looking window switches with these, obviously, to match those so yeah i will go ahead and take all this shit apart and then i will get back to you guys all right so now that i've removed the uh center console i just kind of flipped it upside down um but what it looks like is that you're going to want to take these three screws off um and then literally follow this like loom i guess if you'd call it that and unplug this this is the power for your window switches and then literally fucking replace it with the new one and that's it <laughs> it's really that simple so i'll go ahead and do that and then show you what it looks like when it's done cool here's the finished product i think it looks pretty freaking sweet um oh i forgot to put this back on there you go. So there you go. It really, it really completes the look for me. Um, I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked. I'm super stoked on this. I'll try it on the window. Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. So yeah, I don't know. I think it kind of just looks nice with everything. I got the the brushed uh, brushed aluminum Nardi steering wheel. I got the the um the retro style hazard and pop-up switches and then i thought you know this would just complete the look so i'm super happy with it super easy to install and then i got this thing left over so i don't know someone wants it or something going forward you know just more extra parts um but yeah so that's that's that. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say on it. Um, I know this kind of this video was kind of lacking some structure, kind of all over the place. But I'm still kind of new to this whole vlogging thing and getting used to, I guess, you know, structuring my videos and stuff like that. So I appreciate your patience. Um, 
there's going to be a lot more in-depth stuff coming soon. Very soon, hopefully, as long as I don't fall off the platform again, but we'll see. Um, next step is to get the fuel pump on. I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, stay tuned for more. Um, I'm going to definitely try and do a better job in documenting the whole process because I think it'll be a lot more interesting to watch, you know, the installation of like the supercharger kit and all the stuff that goes around it instead of me taking out a diff and putting in a drive shaft like you're not really missing much anyway so whatever um but anyways thanks again for watching i'll see you guys very soon and i've never properly closed out a video before so peace yeah that's that's what they do i don't know we'll work on it right all right you're